dad founded the club. I'm from a small town in Manitoba, 2,500 people called Minidosa. And my dad found the club in a city that's close by to us, Brandon. So I went there and I started there. I played hockey from when I was four till I was 11. And then at 11, I switched to hockey and speed skating. My progression through speed skating started as a short tracker in Brandon. Uh, I skated there until I graduated high school and then I moved from Brandon to Calgary where I started training full time. I uh, spent two years kind of training in the oval program in Calgary. Um, then I made development team, skated on development team for three years, and then national team, and then two years after that, made the Olympics. I was a dishwasher at a restaurant. I worked as a window installer. I worked as a beekeeper, a dog daycare worker. <laughs> Bill Murray, obviously. <laughs> I got the nickname Big Murr because I apparently look like Bill Murray, so. I'd have to say Erfurt, Germany. It was, uh, it's a really, really, really old city. Everything's stone, uh, cobblestone streets pretty much everywhere you go. The buildings are all stone. It's uh, kind of what you think of as like your classic old European village. I think it's kind of an obvious one for me. It's just a beautiful facility. One wall was completely windows, so when we were training in there, it felt like you were, you know, training outside, but you were inside, so it was beautiful. Well, a normal training day, I guess, would be wake up two hours before. Uh, I'm supposed to meet at the Oval, and I wake up, eat breakfast, um, play some games on the computer, just relax, get woken up. Uh, I'll do a little bit of meditation and relaxation stuff before going over to the Oval. Then go to the Oval, do morning training that usually takes till about noon. And then between noon and afternoon training, which usually starts at 2.30, I'll just come home, relax, eat lunch, uh, not really do much of anything. Go back for my afternoon training at around 2.30, which usually goes till about 5.30. And then at 5.30, we're done for the day. And that's a day that's all skating. If there's no afternoon training, then usually my afternoon will be spent doing schoolwork or going to class or other things, working on bikes. Uh, I have to say the eating area, the cafeteria. Each area of the cafeteria had its own specific area, like part of the world, so a different continent that you were from. So like, there's a Europe section and a North America section and an Asian section, and you could get cuisine that was specific to where, what part of the world you were from, which is really cool. There's also McDonald's as one of the sections. <laughs> yeah, I looked in the mirror once, it was pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I saw Sidney Crosby, he was walking down the street one day, that was pretty neat because you're in Athlete Village and you expect this to be like a safe zone where not many people could get into. Uh, and Sidney Crosby had a crowd of people around him asking for autographs, which is kind of neat because you're in an area where it's all Olympic athletes and the Olympic athletes are you know, asking him for their autographs, so it's like a god of gods kind of thing. <laughs> it was really, really awesome. The, it got progressed, like, the first race was the loudest, because the, I raced three events, but two 500s. So the first 500 was the loudest, and when they were calling me to the line, I couldn't even hear, like, they were announcing my name. I didn't know what was going on because the crowd was so much louder than the announcer or the, the guy saying go to the start. So we must have stood there for 30 or 40 seconds waiting for the crowd just to get quiet enough that you could actually hear someone giving you a command to be able to go to the start. I think I'd say set goals. Start, start with goals that you honestly think that you can achieve and work towards those goals. Uh, if you're eight years old, don't set the goal of being a world champion because it's not a realistic goal that you think you could achieve. I mean, maybe it is something someday that you think you could achieve, but it's just such a huge, long-duration goal that you're more likely to lose track in the process of trying to achieve it. Um, I'd say set short-term goals and just keep working towards them and keep reminding yourself of your goals every single day. Favorite distance? Thousand. Favorite music? Dubstep. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Favorite food? Um, ooh, buckwheat. Favorite TV show? Dragon's Den. 20 lappers or six hour ride? Uh, next. <laughs> PC or Mac? Mac. Glass half full or half empty? Half full. Dogs or cats? 
McDonald's. Tim Hortons or Starbucks? McDonald's. Cash or credit? <laughs> uh, credit. Bieber or Carly Rae Jepsen? Who? Guns N' Roses or Pink Floyd? Pink Floyd. Superman or Batman? Batman. Pogs or marbles? Pogs for sure. Thank you.